Welcome back guys to another GTA video and in today's one I am finally getting the survival's career progress completed. The remaining requirements that I did have to do was complete wave 16 in a survival and the 250 waves in total. So to complete the wave 16 requirement you do need to enter a survival that can have endless waves switched on and the easiest one to complete this on is meth lab. Now the reason it is easiest is because of this boat here. What you want to do is get the boat at the rear of the building blocking the stairwell. That way the NPC cannot get up the stairs. For some reason the NPCs won't climb into the boat or go over the boat and because of the bins at the back of the stairs they are unable to climb up onto the stairs either. So once you've got the boat in that position it's fairly simple. You get inside the shop and behind the counter here. Now you can do this one solo but I, I just ran out of patience. I had completed up to wave 12 and then up to wave 13 by myself. But like I said, on the day of recording this one, I did just run out of patience trying to go for it by myself. So Roughwood jumped in and helped me out. Now, the only weapon that you will need when you're in the shop is the assault shotgun. And after wave 3, you will also need the minigun or RPG for taking out the buzzard at the end of each wave. Now it is best if you do have the assault shotgun to have the extended mag, as you can see Roughwood here is constantly having to reload. But you'll see with me, I can quite easily free aim 32 shots before having to reload, so it does make very light work of the enemies that are coming to the front door. The first 6 or 7 levels are fairly straightforward, nothing too difficult about them. But by the time you get to wave 8 and beyond, you can see from the minimap there, you do get a fair number of enemies that do spawn in at the same time. Over the course of the following round, you will get the enemies spawning in and coming at you in maybe 3 or 4 waves with a short break in between each wave. And you may have noticed there on wave 9 itself, all the enemies that are coming in, or the majority of the enemies that are coming in, do in fact have miniguns and as you can see there on wave 10 Roughwood actually just left himself hanging out a bit too much and get taken out but as it is a team survival as long as one player gets to the end of the wave the other player will get revived at the start of the next wave and so we continue and make our way all the way through until wave 13 where we start to get a new enemy spawning in and that is the Juggernaut. Now the Juggernaut isn't actually too bad to take out, especially when he stays outside. A good few shots on target will get him down fairly quickly. Unfortunately that door frame got in my way for some of the shots. But as you can see, we got past wave 13, not too bad. We took out that second juggernaut on wave 14 fairly quickly and at the end here you can see my impatience not taking too much cover trying to take out the buzzer. I did take a couple of hits but nothing too major and we got past wave 14. On to wave 15 and as you can see the number of enemies just spawning in and even the juggernaut makes it inside but we managed to take him out before he does too much damage inside the shop itself. And as usual, taking out the buzzard at the end, and that's wave 15 completed. Now, when you get on to wave 16, you will get the pop-up letting you know that you have reached wave 16. Do not trust this, as I have seen other people have this notification and get, allow themselves to die on this wave only to find out that they have not achieved it. You do in fact have to complete wave 16 and reach wave 17 to get the achievement itself. But there we go, wave 16 has been completed. So moving on to wave 17, we just thought we'd jump up, see how long we survived up on top of the, the shop itself. And <laughs> without any surprises, we didn't survive long at all. But 
coming out of the survival. Jumping into the career progress, you can see I've got 51 waves to complete, which quickly jumped down to one wave remaining. And the way I'd completed the remaining waves was on one of the quick RP survival modes. This one here was a cage event where the enemies spawn in with only melee weapons and it was fairly easy to get the remaining 51 waves that are required. And as you can see, I get the pop-up to confirm that I've completed all 250 waves. So with them completed, there was only one way to get out of the survival itself and get on to the career progress to claim those rewards. And that was to get killed by the enemies. But jumping in, you can see we've got all tiers finally completed and that means we can go in and claim the rewards of the 5,000 RP, the 150,000 GTA dollars and the camel prepper hoodie. It also meant that I had completed 20 career progresses which did unlock me the silent career progress outfit. So only 5 more career progresses required to complete before I obtain the Nico Bellic outfit. But there you have it guys, that is it from me for today. If you did enjoy the video or did find it useful, do leave a like and if you are new here, why not consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.